Well, some sad news coming out of Brazil. What started off as, you know, a fun day at the beach with family ended up turning to tragedy very quickly. We're going to get into all the details of it in just a second, guys. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. This was in Brazil at Kamakari Beach on January 10th. A family was out trying to enjoy themselves. They were going out of town for a couple of days, trying to enjoy, you know, a few days vacation, rest, relaxation. A Brazilian pastor by the name of Felis Berto Sampeo and his wife Analda, along with their 13-year-old son Ian. They were all out at the beach that day. All of a sudden, the family noticed that Ian was getting a little bit too deep out there in the water, and he had called for help. Both Phyllis Berto and his wife, Inalda, had swam out in attempts to rescue their son. Now, as all this is going on, you know, they're trying to reach him. He starts to go under. They start to go under. Nearby was a fisherman and also another family member who has not been named yet at this time. They were, in fact, able to save 13-year-old Ian. However... Rescuers then had attempted to save both Phyllis Berto and Inalda. Uh, they were unsuccessful in their attempts. Uh, the two ended up drowning here in an attempt to save their son. You know, they had pulled them out of the water and they attempted to revive them, but uh, they were unsuccessful. Uh, this is incredibly sad. Uh, Phyllis Berto, 43 years old, his wife Inalda, 42. Uh, Phyllis Berto was the pastor for 12 years at the Assemblies of God Church there, uh, a church in Brazil. And this news has just hit everybody in the community extremely hard. The church is mourning the loss of their pastor and his wife. You know, they did everything they could. They put their life on the line to save their own son. And you would expect that any good parent would do that. And, you know, and I, I can't imagine... What, you know, 13-year-old Ian is thinking about right now, knowing that his parents are no longer here. You know, they even talked to uh, the older son here of the, uh, the Sampeo family, who had said that he had planned on visiting his family uh, just a couple of days before this all took place. And he is just absolutely devastated and stunned by what took place here, you know. I know it's hard and, you know, these types of words don't always register in the beginning, but, you know, we can say that both the pastor and his wife are now with Jesus. They're no longer suffering. Uh, they're not in any trouble. They are, in fact, in glory and in paradise, and they will see their sons again. You know, they're going to be looked upon here by their kids and by their church as heroes. Because had they had not gone out there in an attempt to try and, you know, save their son to see what was going on. Maybe that fisherman wouldn't have gotten involved to see what was happening. Maybe the other family member wouldn't have known what was going on either. They did everything that they could. And, and you know, I don't think if they go back again and do anything differently, I don't think they would. You know, again, I think anybody, any parent would do whatever it was necessary to try and save their child. Be in prayer for the entire Sampeo family, uh, their church, that God would be with them and just give them peace at this time because it's going to take some time for them to be able to um, to get over this, for it to register. Um, God can bring healing. And again, let's not forget that there will be reunions in heaven. They will be reunited with their family again. You know, what I want to do right now is I want to end this video on hope. This is something I do on all my videos. I don't just talk about the end time, you know, Bible headlines and prophecy headlines. Um, and we keep people informed, obviously, about what's going on. But we also want to get people to Jesus Christ. You know, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do leave it, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And, and Jesus is coming soon. If you are someone that's watching right now, maybe you're coming across this channel for the first time and you've never seen one of my videos, but you never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'd like to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but... I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge 
that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Prayers once again going out to the entire Sampaio family, their entire church for peace and comfort in this difficult time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.